Then of course our, our biggest problem was probably uh, supplies, meat, meat and things like that. We were working on bully beef and biscuits most of the time. Other times we got herrings and tomato sauce. We even got eggs sometimes, we got this egg powder. And uh, uh, there wasn't much of a variety in our food. We had no, fruit, no fresh vegetables, no fresh fruit. And a couple of chaps down, downstairs were talking about having oranges at one stage. I never saw any oranges there. I think it was just probably something came into the ship and they managed to get a hold of it. But uh, yeah, food, there was always enough food, but uh, it was, well, mainly bully beef. And with the heat, the first thing you did was just to open up the tin and pour it out and, and all that fat that comes in the bully, bully beef, they come down and pour it out on the sand. Then just eat the rest of it. But the, the hard tack biscuits were so hard, you really needed to soak them in water to eat them properly. And water was in short supply, and it was horribly tasting boar water. And uh, you, you use that for uh, drinking from the first thing. When it came to washing, it was you know, just getting it up in your hand and putting it over your face and cleaning your teeth. And that was like, there were, of course, no showers, nothing like that there. And when it came to washing your clothes, well, leaving with washing yourself, you, you put a little bit in that tin. We were fortunate. Uh, because we had all these, our petrol came in uh, square four gallon tins. We cut them in half, turned down the edge, edges, and we'd use one of those to uh, uh, put a little bit of water in, about half an inch or an inch of water in the bottom, and uh, we'd uh, wash ourselves down like that. I remember one chap who was just halfway through washing, and of course he got caught in an air aid, and he had a duck for his slit trench. And he, caught his, he cut his feet on the way through. He was in the hospital about two weeks. But those sort of things happen. You just never know when these waves are coming. And as far as cleaning, cleaning your clothes, well, they were really thick with sand and that. Even when you, when you washed your body, uh, the, the, the sand from your body was sort of sinking the bottom of your water. Uh, so, so water was a problem. There was one occasion towards the end of the siege that we got fresh meat. It was the only occasion we got fresh meat. And we had, well, I suppose you call it almost a roast dinner that day. But uh, it wasn't quite so fresh. And it was the only time that I got what we used to call belly fever, desert fever, desert belly, that's what they call it, desert belly. And uh, so uh, I think it was just that we had no refrigeration there. And with the heat, the cooks couldn't, couldn't just keep the, the meat uh, fresh. 